This is a brand new 2021 BMW X7 M50i. For those of you who don't know me, I am Samir Umar from BMW Toronto. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. And do comment below of what you like about this video, what else you would like to see. And as time permits, I'll answer those questions or I'll make a video of those uh, questions, answering them. Uh, let me, uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing here, uh, basically I'm gonna do a walk around of this gorgeous beast. Uh, and then we're gonna get inside and do a virtual delivery. This is during times of COVID. Uh, to kind of stay with the touchless delivery process. So I'm gonna make a video ahead of time for these customers picking up the car uh, so that they know how to uh, customize all the settings to their personal preferences. And for those of you who just recently purchased one or are thinking of purchasing one, you would know to do the same. And also uh, what this car or this vehicle is uh, capable of. All right, so let's do a quick walk around. This is the gorgeous Tanzanite blue metallic paint. And the interior on this is BMW Individual Tour 2 Extended Merino Leather. This does have the trailer tow hitch at the bottom there. And the gorgeous Tanzanite blue metallic. I wish there was a bit more of a clearer sky with more sunlight coming in. You can see how gorgeous this looks outdoors in the sunlight. All right, so if you're thinking of picking one up or wondering what comes standard with the vehicle and how you can package it, Okay, so the standard features on a 2021 BMW X7, X, X7 M50i are remote engine start, M Sport exhaust system, 22 inch M light alloy wheels, V spoke, style 755M, which are bicolor cerium gray, and with performance non run flat tires, is what you're seeing on the vehicle right now. M Sport brakes, uh, M Sport differential, Sport automatic transmission, the pedal shifters, tire pressure monitor, tire repair kit, adaptive two axle air suspension, alarm system, universal remote control, comfort access, soft closed doors, rear view camera, high gloss black roof rails, panorama sunroof, side sun shades, luggage compartment package, sun protection, glazing, velour floor mats, heated and cool cup holders, ventilated seats, comfort seats for the front, lumbar support, Travel and comfort system, seat heating front and rear, heat comfort package for the front, fine line black wood trim with metal effect, auto five zone climate control, massage function for driver and passenger, third row seats, uh, ambient lighting, LED fog lights, high beam assistant, active protection, traffic jam assistant, driving assistant professional, BMW laser headlights, park assistance plus with surround view, head up display, Sirius XM satellite radio tuner, Harman Kardon sound system, Intelligent emergency call, teleservices, connected drive services, connected package professional, Apple CarPlay preparation, BMW drive recorder, wireless charging, and extended Bluetooth and USB, BMW, BMW live cockpit professional, BMW gesture control, Wi Fi hotspot, M leather steering wheel, M aerodynamics package, high gloss black window surround, anthracite Alcantara roof liner, cross traffic alert for the rear collision warning with city braking. Lane departure warning, blind spot warning, rear collision, collision prevention, speed limit in full. Whew, that's a lot of standard features. And that's why you're paying that price for this truck. Has amazing standard features just by itself. And then furthermore, this car is packaged with the premium package. Um, you do have the Sky Lounge, panorama glass, sunroof, glass application, crafted clarity for interior elements, ambient air package. It does have a further dynamic handling package, which gives you integral active steering, active comfort drive with road preview. Uh, again, these wheels are the 22s. Uh, it has a trailer tow hitch, has a BMW display key, and the interior trim on this was swapped to make it more in line with the interior to match it is now a fine wood fine line striped brown high gloss trim 
It does have the walk Napa leather dashboard. And once again, the exterior paint is the Tanzanite blue metallic. And the interior, once we get in, you'll see is the BMW individual Tertufo extended merino leather. Okay, that's a mouthful. All right, so let's get inside the car and we'll go over some features. Yes, you can remote engine start the car, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, what you get with the car, uh, if you're an iPhone user, you can program your iPhone to become a digital key for the car so you can unlock and lock your car with just your phone. You do get a nice uh, display key uh, with this, okay? You do get the digital key, a credit card style key that comes with the car. You get a, the standard uh, metallic uh, regular key fob with the M logo and the M symbols on there. Okay, and you also get a metallic a hard metallic key to manually unlock and get inside the car as well, which is not on me right now, but you do get that. Uh, let's see, hopefully I've set it up and you can remote engine start. How to do that is push on the lock button, which is the BMW logo three times. So one, two, three, and the car should start up. There we go. exact same way I can switch off the engine with the same lock button so one two three and let go and I can switch off the engine let me show you a quick walk around this car let's open it up Okay, so the rear sunshades on the windows, automated, controls for your sunroof, for your window sunshades, all your seat controls, gorgeous uh, headrests, pillows, armrests with cup holders and some storage, heated seats in the back, all your temperature controls, USB-C, 12 volt charging, your travel and comfort system. Nice cross twitch, tough fitted seats, leather. This is the gorgeous Tertufo. Yes, your third row has their own roof panel. And you can see the sky lounge. So this whole roof uh, at nighttime illuminates uh, with the ambient lighting color you do select for your interior. That's your crystal shifter on the iDrive and on the start stop button as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get inside the vehicle and let's go over some options. Let's go over some setup. You do have your massage seat controls right on the door on either the front doors both of them and you can access it from the uh, infotainment system as well. Yep, you do have your adjuster controls. So if you're not aware, uh, adjuster controls, so volume up is a full circle, finger in the air. <laughs> and a full circle anti-clockwise volume down okay this symbol is to mute unmute uh, 
next track or next station, previous track or previous station. If your phone is paired via Bluetooth, you would just point to the screen to answer when you're receiving a call or swipe right and cancel the call. The camera too uh, that watches your finger movement is right here. So as long as you're under that, within that vicinity, it will recognize your gestures. This is your... Okay, so this is the button to the to adjust your air suspension. So I can lower it and increase the height of the vehicle from here. So let's see when I lower it. Okay, so it shows me the vehicle is lowering right now. You probably can't tell looking in the camera, but I can see ahead and I can feel the vehicle lower as well. All right, so let's not waste too much time. Let's not make the video too long. I'll skip through some basics again. Uh, some stuff I read out from the uh, uh, list of standard features and options on the car. If you don't understand something, please ask me in the comments below. Guys, please help support my channel. Uh, it's because of your support is where I keep going. I would really appreciate it if you guys can hit the subscribe button. Click on the bell icon for more informative content like this. Do like the video uh if this is something you enjoy do like the video and please comment below what else you would like to see and as time permits i will make those videos or answer those questions for you uh so uh this car does have all the bells and whistles all the stuff controls your advanced driver assistance stuff i have a separate video on that of me driving a vehicle showing you how all that works yes this vehicle can also parallel and perpendicular park itself and has a backup assistant uh, sorry uh uh yeah a backup assistant where the car can back out itself and all those uh if you guys want to see those videos ask me and i'll link those videos as well so you can so you can watch those uh so let's go through some setup uh, first thing we'll start is with the app so i had mentioned uh, that this car does have a bmw drive recorder which is a bmw dash cam system uses all the four cameras uh, to do a recording of 40 seconds total so i already did set it up uh, so recording allowed before trigger 20 seconds and after trigger 20 seconds so it will give you a 40 second recording uh, so if you do have an impact it'll pre-save 20 seconds prior to that and 20 seconds after so you have proof of the incident with you if need be okay media is your standard sirius xm comes with a free six month subscription also guys anything i mentioned until 2022 model year we are in canada i'm in toronto and canadian vehicles you do get four years eighty thousand kilometer warranty and no charge scheduled maintenance and also your sirius xm satellite radio subscription is is with your vehicle for six months for free Okay, so Sirius XM, FM, AM, Spotify, you can log in here directly. Bluetooth, audio, screen mirroring, mobile devices, personal menu. Uh, Calm is anything to do with your telephone. This is where you'd come to uh, pair your phone. Uh, navigation is pretty simple. Uh, on the right side is the uh, map settings and stuff. You can go through that and adjust settings to your personal preference. I personally like the perspective view, so that gives you a 3D mapping of the buildings around and also gives also points in the direction of travel uh car is majorly where all the setup of the car is and you know you can talk to your car as well right so once you go under car and you go under driver profiles uh, the new buyer picking this vehicle up i would help them uh, set up their profile once you do set up your profile you can create a personal command as well apart from hey bmw or hello bmw uh, so a personal command that means you can call your car hey mona lisa you can call it you know uh, beamer and it will it will do things for you okay so for example let me see hopefully i've activated and let's try it so right now you can see the ambient lighting color is set to lilac uh, hey bmw change ambient lighting color to green I've selected the lighting color green with contour and green. Okay, so it's easy as that. I'm going to change it back to lilac. Customer's wife is coming along and I think she would like it. So let's switch that back. Hey, BMW. Change ambient lighting to lilac. 
Okay, I've selected the lighting color lilac with contouring lilac. There are a lot of other commands you can select and talk to your car. Let's try a few. Hey BMW, 11 Sunlight Park Road. Perfect. Our next destination is 11 Sunlight Park Road, Toronto. So it's easy as that. Say, hey BMW, hello BMW, or your personal command and say the address and it will take you there. Now if you want to cancel it, hey BMW, cancel destination. The guidance. Okay, 11 Sunlight Park is where BMW Toronto is located, where I work out of. So if you guys have any questions, want to come see me, please do schedule an appointment with me directly and I'll be happy to assist. Um, let's do a few others. Hey BMW, I'm hungry. Can you please find me an Italian restaurant close to me? I found several restaurants. Okay, so I'll find you about 20 locations close to you. Now, you don't have to be that nice to your car uh, with the please and thank yous. You don't have to do that. You can just sit directly say and it'll do it for you. Okay, so uh, what else? If you're traveling from here to Niagara Falls and want to check the weather there, you can just talk to it and it'll find it for you. It has a light data connection. I have internet connection in the car, okay? Uh, so let's go in the car. Let's go through some more setups. So... Uh, so under car, I'm gonna go under, oh, there's some other cool features. For this feature to work, uh, your car needs to be on, your temperature controls need to be on auto, and your sound system needs to be on at any station, any song playing. Okay, so let's turn that up. Okay, let's talk. Hey BMW, relax me. No problem, I have activated the relaxation program. Okay, so I was pointing over here to show you that it just activated my massage seats at slow settings. It is closing my sunroof shade. It changed the music to something calming. It changed the temperature, went up to 23 degrees, so kind of warming it up and trying to relax me. Okay, now another mode, let's try that. Hey BMW. Vitalize me. I have activated the vitality program. Okay, if you see massage seats went to full speed, my sunroof shade is opening up. The music turned to something more vibrant. My ventilated seats came on and my temperature control dropped. Uh, at 18 and the air speed is fluctuating to kind of wake me up. All right, some fun stuff to do, some magic tricks to do in the car when you have kids with you, okay? And let's end that program there. Okay, now let's get into car, let's go through the setup. So go on the settings, general settings. I'm just gonna briefly go through this so you know where to find what. You can refer back to the video and then uh, go through it. Okay, so date and time, I've set it to automatic time setting, so it's gonna take care of your uh, daylight savings and all that good stuff. A date format is set to day, month, year. Obviously, you can change it to whichever you prefer. Languages to English, there are a couple other languages that you can select from. Uh, personal assistant is where you would come and click on voice control go on the wake word and then that's your wake word once you log in it'll give you an option to add your own personal wake word as well okay units is what we use here in canada if you live in the u.s you can change that to miles and all that good stuff uh, sound, uh, this is where you would adjust your sound settings, your bass, treble, surround, all that good stuff. Uh, the gesture controls of what I was just doing with my fingers. There are a couple other gestures. Uh, so this gesture that I did for mute, unmute, you can change it to do something else. So you can select what it would like to do. Okay, and function assignment two. So it's this gesture, one, two, three. And if you do that, it will take you home if that's what you set your home address to. If you obviously program your home address there, it will take you home then. So anytime you're lost, just do that and it will take you home, okay?
Uh, car, uh, we were here, so settings, general settings, just controls, let me turn the volume down a bit so you can hear me. Okay, touchpad is, is referring to the iDrive controller. It's also a touchpad, so you can use your finger and write, write on it. Alphabets, letters, alpha, sorry, letters, uh, numbers. It will recognize if you're searching for a contact name, number, or uh, entering uh, information for your GPS. Uh, driver attention camera refers to this camera right here in the center watching me for attention. So it's saying that that's on. It's all part of the advanced driver assistance package. Pop up, so any settings you change, uh, so it'll pop up message on the screen showing you what you're trying to do. Getting started is what I'm doing right now is basically setting up the car from scratch, but you can follow those instructions as well. If you winter time, if you're in extreme winter weather areas, you can add tire chains. You can select that and the car will perform better with that. If you have a trailer, if you're towing something, make sure to switch on trailer mode and your camera sensors, everything will work accordingly with that. You can set up a speed warning, fatigue and focus alert. I've set it to sensitive. So if your car swerves too much, if you're falling asleep, your car will you know, tell you, okay, pull over, grab a coffee, take a break, don't take the risk kind of thing. Uh, trip data is right here. Engine sound, you can always leave it to sporty, balance reduced, or depending on your driving mode, which means uh, these buttons right here. So adaptive, eco, comfort, sport. Your car always default starts in comfort. You can go to sport mode or eco pro. And then any of the modes you are, you can select to always sound sporty if you enjoy that sound or keep it depending on driving mode. Data privacy, this kind of needs to be on so that your phone, my BMW app, and your car will sync in and you'll be able to track your vehicle, do a lot of functions from the phone. Like you can remote engine start your car from the phone. Uh, you can locate your car. A lot of stuff you'll be able to do from there. Otherwise the app will not function very well. And then you'll be calling me, hey, why is this not working? Okay. Uh, wireless charging tray. So it does have wireless charging right there in front. So in fact, that reminds me, let me plug, put this key in there, which you can wireless charge right there. So while we are chatting, the key will wireless charge for the customer. Uh, you can drop your phone in there as long as it doesn't have a magnet behind it. You know, like those magnetic holders, phone holders. If it doesn't have that kind of magnet, it will charge as long as your phone has uh, wireless charging equipped. Uh, remote software upgrade, you could do it. It's over the air. If you have a new software version, you can update that or reset vehicle data. Let's go under driving mode. So Sport, Individual, Eco Pro are the two modes that you can configure to personal preference. Exterior lighting everything is on and pathway lighting set to 20 seconds you can increase that further this basically means when you come home lock your car uh 20 seconds your headlight will stay on to illuminate your driveway your walkway to go home or you can extend that if you have a longer driveway or walkway uh driver assistance stuff so safety and warning front collision warning uh, side collision warning, lane departure warning, with steering intervention, active line spot detection, and steering intervention. Everything set to early, everything set at the safest settings, and with all the interventions on as well. Uh, driving, so speed limit assistance uh, is on, and I'm gonna show to show current limit. Uh, warn when next speeding, excess speed warning, or you can adjust your speed according to the situation there. So the car will automatically adjust for you. Steering assistance is on with automatic lane change, driver attention camera as well. So yes, if you're using the assisted driving stir, uh, assisted driving options in the car and you indicate, yes, the car will change the lane by itself as long as it has room for it to change. And the driver attention camera is on. Parking and manuring. So let's go through this. Let's set this up. Automatic PDC, which is your park distance control, your beep, beep, beep sensor. So those are on for you. PDC with brake intervention. Let's switch those on. So if your car is parking and it realizes there's an obstacle in the way or you're parking and it realizes there's an obstacle in the way, it will apply emergency braking. Better safe than Tori. Better safer to brake versus hit that object. 
okay pretty self-explanatory there uh, steering wheel feedback I've set it up too strong so your steering would vibrate and light elements so so these lights would come on as well for the warning you if you're swerving off your lane or uh, someone's in your blind spot and you're trying to change the lane the car will warn you with vibration and lights uh, display so let's go to head up display a head up display is this view that I'm seeing in my windshield. I don't know if you look straight up, you can see the street speed limit and my speed limit beside it. If I try to select uh, music, I can do a music selection right there. I can follow navigation directions right there. I can scroll to my recent call list, everything right there. So if it floats way in that distance there, so you can kind of see it by that X4 up ahead. Okay, you can adjust the height the brightness, the rotation, navigation, whatever have you, okay? Uh, instrument panel uh, refers to this right here. If you see, it's set up to map view. I can change that to be to route preview. So maps go, it'll show me only turn by turn directions, but if I leave it to map view, it shows me both map and then turn by turn directions when I come up. Or I can switch it off if I don't want the maps or anything displayed there. Okay, and I can display assisted driving view when driver assistance is active, which will display over here in the center. I can have converted speed, so if I activate that, see what happens. Bam. And right below zero kilometers per hour, it shows zero miles per hour. So if I am a frequent traveler to the US and back, I can have those on and I can have miles and kilometers. For now, since these guys mostly live in Canada, uh, I'm going to switch it off if they ever go. To us i can switch it on okay control display uh this is this screen that you're looking at so all i can do here is adjust the brightness or turn off the display uh doors and vehicle access so a tailgate digital key reminds me okay let's activate the digital key which is that credit card style key uh, that's on me right here in my pocket i'm gonna just drop it on there on the wireless charging tray and it shows me to activate i'm going to activate it so now that key can be used to gain access to the vehicle come inside drop the key in the digital sorry in the wireless charging tray and start the car and you're good to go so all you do is take that key tap it on the door handle and that will unlock the car keep in mind if you have your regular key fob on you that supersedes this digital key so your key fob will work comfort access let's set that up so when I walk away from the car after switching off the engine, the car will automatically unlock. Uh, and when I come closer to the car, the car will unlock for me. Okay, so everything is set up. I've deactivated this feature right here, unlock at end of trip, which means when you switch off the engine, uh, the car won't automatically unlock. Just in case you have a bad person lingering around trying to jump you, the car won't automatically unlock unless you unlock the vehicle or pull the uh handle to to release the door lock okay and also another feature that i've activated is fold mirrors in when locked and it will auto fold when unlocked so this feature you want to just de-engage or deactivate when winter comes around because you don't want snow and ice stuck in those uh mirror folds there and it will be too much pressure on the motors okay so guys remember that uh interior lighting this is where you would come and manually change all the colors so tons of color options i'll leave it to lilac for now you can adjust the brightness keep dynamic lighting on and dim for night driving ah boring i love the light in the nighttime that's where it really shines so i'm gonna leave it as is if the customers think it's too bright then they can obviously adjust the brightness here or key auto dim for night driving auto dim it down uh seat comfort oh my god i forgot i should have switched on my massage seats while sitting here let's do that now okay whole body activation you have a lot of massage seat options that you can select but i'm going to keep whole body why not get a massage while doing this video okay so driver seats um, uh, seat massage all that stuff you can adjust from here passenger seat i could do it from here as well might as well uh, activate that now for the customers so let's do a whole body activation there we go second row of seats i can control the entire row of seats or left seat or right seat from my seat okay seat and armrest heating i can preset everything for driver for front passenger all that good stuff or you can manually control 
Uh, let's go to climate control, guys. This is very important. If you want your car to remote engine start, you would come under climate control, go all the way down to preconditioning and ventilation and remote engine start. Check mark that. You'll get a warning sign, sit OK, and, and then uh, you're good to go. That activates it. OK. So it's pretty easy. Play around with this. If you have questions, please do ask. Uh, for key button settings, uh, when I unlock the vehicle, I want only the driver's door to unlock. That's what I've selected. You can have it to all doors as well. Uh, but most of the time, if you're by yourself, you just want your driver's door. Okay, or if you're coming towards your car, your car is automatically going to unlock. It's going to be the driver door only. If you have more passengers with you, obviously, you can push unlock again on your key fob or just grab the rear door handle that will unlock all the doors for you upper tailgate so when i unlock my when i do my trunk release i just want the upper tailgate to open i can set it up to both uh both tailgates i can set it up to upper tailgate and doors or both tailgates and doors which is the lower tailgate and upper tailgate okay and that's pretty much for the settings guys uh if, you, if i've missed something or you have a question a particular question about something please do ask this is where you would activate your ventilated and cool seats so if i push that menu populates up and i can select cool seats or heated seats from there okay so my ventilation came on because we're in summertime i'm gonna switch that off it's getting really chilly in here Alright uh, guys, hopefully uh, this was entertaining to you guys and you guys got to learn a lot. For those of you who are trying to pick up a car, for the customer picking up the car. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon for sure to uh, keep in the loop for more informative content like this. Uh, and do like the video, comment below what else you would like to see and what you loved about this video. Or if you have any questions regarding what I went over, I'll be happy to help, okay? And I'll see you guys on the next one and end this video by walking out of the car and show you a little bit of the exterior again. Okay, so I have the key in my pocket. Let's see, I'm gonna walk away. The car should lock and it locked by itself. All right, nice sunlight peeking in. Let's see if I can uh, show you the tanzanite blue a little better in the sunlight. Yeah, not bad, not bad. There we go, we have a little sunlight poking in right at those areas right here. And see how gorgeous of a paint this is. I love this paint. Like super premium paint. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and do like the video and click on the bell icon for sure. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for viewing.